My name is Tabitha Gikanga. I partner with Ponea Health. And I want to talk about uh, long distance relationship. Uh, it's possible for someone actually to express themselves. If you are feeling like uh, your partner wants to go away probably for studies, and then you're feeling like you're not comfortable about it, it's good to communicate. Because communication is not actually telling somebody something. Communication is not uh, giving a piece of your mind. Communication is not hit and run. Communication is trying to understand your partner as you also help your partner to understand you so that you can unite your feelings, you can unite your thoughts, and it is going to be possible for you to unite your goals. And from there, you'll be able to work on those goals. So communicating your concerns and your fears, it can actually be communicated so well that you are able to arrive at something that both of you are comfortable with. But uh, in many cases, <clears throat> you kind of make threats. It's not right to make threats if you go away, if you're going to take that uh, opportunity and uh, don't consider that you're leaving me alone, probably or you're leaving me with the children, that would be too difficult. Is that more important than me? Uh, you are actually going the wrong direction. Sit down and talk about it. Don't uh, show your partner like uh, you don't like the idea that they are going to benefit themselves because what benefits your partner is also going to benefit you. And the idea here is to communicate. Communication is actually what makes you better in terms of your relationship. Communication is not telling somebody something. You're telling somebody something, but in a way that you let them understand what you're saying and what you're feeling and uh, the suggestions you have, as you also wait for them to respond. In many cases, one tells and they don't want to listen to the feedback. Feedback is very important. Back and forth, listening to each other. Listening is one of the skills that we do not actually practice very much in our marital relationships but it is important. If you engage listening, if you tell yourself from now on, I'll be listening to your partner, and your partner will also, in fact, there are people who teach their partners to listen. And so if you're listening and then your partner is listening to you for sure, you'll be able to arrive at a decision that is not going to make you suffer. I would want to probably give a few tips because I've experienced being away from my partner. Uh, one thing is that uh, you'll have very, very many uh, sympathizers for your loneliness. And these sympathizers are not, they do not uh, want, you know, anything good for your marriage. They have no good intentions. They would want just to meet their they are selfish gains and leave their relationship suffering. If you are going away, let me ask you, please know that you are going to have some people who can distract your faithfulness. Know that you'll have some people who will actually lead you to the wrong things. Know that you can go and forget your partner. So weigh yourself emotionally. How are you? The person who is being left behind know that you're going to experience that loneliness. And of course, loneliness is going to be there, but uh, you still can actually get ready for it. When something comes and you're ready for it, it doesn't hit you as much as it would hit you when you're not ready. So prepare your mind. Go there. Watch out for wrong company and concentrate on what you're going to do and focus on finishing and going back to your relationship. I want to thank you for joining us in this discussion. I want to believe you are now 
clear about how we can make a marriage enjoyable, you can book our services on ponea.com. We look forward to having another discussion with you. Thank you so much for the time you have been together. Thank you.